Morning everybody, uh, right, it's a, a quick, not a quick, but an update of my boiler situation. Um, in my last video I think I've shown you uh, how we re about ready for taking it for me interim boiler inspection. Well I've now done that and um, it's passed with flying colours, thank goodness. Um, so what you can see in front of you now is all my boiler components ready now to be finalised and, and put into the complete boiler um, assembled together and then soldered up final assemb final soldering um, so I know it's been a long drawn out job this but it's been really interesting to do and uh, it is a little bit time consuming but you know if you if you just take your time and and uh, take everything stage by stage, it soon comes together. Um, so, in my past videos, uh, it's probably been a bit difficult to see how the, all the component parts um, make the boiler up when they're in situ. So, I thought I'd just do a few minutes running through everything so you can see how it's all come together now. So this is the outer tube um, and it's all soldered up, it's got all its bushes in, um, as you can see, I've explained that in my past videos, that strap on the bottom was just to, uh, I had to roll this outer tube uh, to, to 8 inch diameter and then put a joint on it because you can no longer get well, I couldn't find anybody that did 8 inch diameter tubing. So, but all the rest of tubing's uh, off its shelf standard. <coughs> so, that's my outer tube. And then, as I've shown you in my past videos, this is the inner firebox and the fire tubes. Now, what, what happens is, the stays that soldered into that fire tube, uh, firebox, sorry, in a firebox, they're going to slot into them bottom three holes in the outer firebox to support the inner firebox tube. So I'll just put that, I'll just put that in now because what I'm going to do. Before I finally solder it all, I'm having a dry run to make sure all my components fit before I put the flux on. Because you don't want to be faffing about uh, trying to get something to fit when it's covered in flux, obviously. And uh, it's not an ideal situation because uh, you want everything kept as clean as possible. So I'm having a dry run. So my fire tube, my inner fire box slips into there and goes into them stay holes that's if, they are, that's if I've lined everything up properly when I've saw right so that's my inner fire box fitted into my outer fire tube um, the tubes come up to the end of the barrel ready for the um, barrel out, uh, outer tube plate to fit so once you've got that in, in position and all fluxed up, you put your nuts on, on stays and then we've got to move on to um, backhead flange. Now on this backhead flange, if you remember in my past videos I made that little pad, the uh, copper pad for the regulator pad. And it's uh, drilled and tapped in four corners, um, quarter ME, which is uh, 32, is it 32 or 40, I can't remember, TPI. And then to hold that pad in place while you're soldering it, because obviously once this is in, you've got no uh, room to uh, to put anything right. If, if it if it comes off, so you make these little uh, bronze stu screw stud type thing that go through the back head from the inside, screw onto the regulator pad, and you only do them up just 
finger tight or not, or not even f tight so the solder can get through and that's to hold the regulator pad on then if you remember back I made the steam tube that was bent while it was in position not in position but I put the tube in to find out where to bend it so that the bend is uppermost to the top of the boiler that's that will screw into the the bottom regular sorry that will screw into the top regulator pad hole which is um, I think it's three eighths like so and that holds that in position <clears throat> then the steam tube that goes down the boiler to the steam header that will screw into the bottom hole like so and then once it's once it's all screwed in I'm not going to put that in just for now the back head then slides on sorry I've missed something off here and then you've got your uh, side glass tubes side glass tube bushes where your water gauge bushes uh, glasses are going to fit they, they'll they be tapped in I've, I've just made them a, a slight very slight interference fit so once they, salt, once they fluxed I'll just tap them in and they'll hold in position so once they're in then you can then thread the um, back head onto the outer firebox and at the same time it's got to enter the inner firebox on this inside flange and it's a really good fit that because it's got it's got to be a good fit because it's soldered so that that will be tapped on I'm not going to tap it on because I might have a job to get it off once I tap it on because you've got no way to to grip it to pull it off so I'm not going to tap it on until uh, I know it fits because I've tried it without the inner firebox in so I know it fits on and I know the inner firebox fits into that inner flange area so it's just a matter of tapping it on and getting it right in right position get me dot me dot marks if you remember in my past videos I put dot marks centre pot marks in all the positions so that um, I can line everything up like so So that's that's the back head and don't forget it'll have this steam pipe threaded onto that bottom hole going right through the boiler. So once that's on you can then put your stays your stays in. Uh, there's two stays that's got a special bush on the end special nut rather not a bush that's for your closure plate of your fire they fit on the bottom and go right through to the throat plate like so with a nut on the other side and then you've just got two standard stays with, with nuts on each each end brass brass nuts drop one there got it uh, they'll fit into um, them stay holes and they go through to the throat plate here like so and then once you've got your um, 
once you've got that in position and all fastened in and you put your little screw rivets in to hold it all in place you can then turn it over so I'll just have to remove this before I turn it because it'll probably drop out so imagine that's still in position you then you've then got to turn it over carefully because you don't want to bend your tubes and then you've got to thread your outer tube plate on in correct position I've put I've put dot marks there so it's a matter of getting that threaded on next and I know that fits because I had it on while I was doing the soldering of the tubes if you remember so I know it fits it's just going to be a bit fiddly to get it on and then you've also got your your steam header bush which fits into that hole and tapped in when it's fluxed and then once that's threaded onto the tubes and tapped into the firebox you've got two more stays to put in these long ones and they're going to go right through the boiler and come out at the other side into the back head so you've got two of them to go through and nuts on both ends and then this steam header bush you've just got to make sure that the other part that screws onto it where the steam pipes come off they're coming off at 45 degrees then so you've got to make sure you get that in correct position to accept your steam pipe adapter to screw on like so. So I've put a little dot mark at top of my, my bush where, where I want it to be so I don't forget. And then that bolts onto that once it's all silver soldered in. And this steam tube comes up into the middle of that and then that's soldered in so um, I know this is going to fit and I'm not going to do that just now because I've got to take it to, take it to pieces again to, to flux everything so that's my dry run completed So the next thing I've got to do is clean everything up thoroughly um, keep everything clean and get my flux on and get it all assembled together and then I've got to decide what what uh, an order I'm going to solder all the nuts onto those stays and then I'm going to turn it over and solder the the back head the old back head in place so that'll involve that's going to involve soldering around the outer firebox the inner firebox all the bushes and nuts on the stays the four sight glass two bushes, water gauge bushes, all around the regulator pad, uh, on the screws that hold the regulator pad in position, the four screws will want flashing with solder, and then the the um, the two steam tubes, they will want flashing with solder, and and all the the rivets that the four rivets that's going to hold it all in place on each of the flanges and then once that's done I can then turn it over and then I've got to solder this uh, tube plate into end it barrel so I've got to go all the way around the tube plate I've got to go around the uh, steam header bush 
I've got to flash around the tube that comes into the steam header bush. The two stays will want soldering in. And then all the fire tubes. Um, and then the rivets that hold this in place. There's three, I think. Three rivets. So it's just a matter of remembering to, to not miss anything while you're doing it. So you need a lot of concentration on that. So that's the position position I'm at. So my next job will be to flux it up and then make a start soldering it. Anyway, I hope I've been uh, I've hope, I hope I've been able to let, make you understand how all the relevant components now fit together because it were a bit difficult to see when I were making it, I think. Um but yeah, so I'll just uh, I'll just sign off this little clip then for now, and I'm going to concentrate getting the flux on, and I'll perhaps do another little clip when I get into that. So. I've cleaned all my parts up now, I've um, given them a good wire wool and a good clean and made sure that they're spotlessly clean. I've done every part that's going to be soldered. <clears throat> I've just mixed a bit of flux up now, um, this easy flow flux. You just mix, uh, mix it up a bit at a time as you want it and uh, mix it with a bit of water and just a drop of fairy, fairy washing up liquid it makes it flow better apparently I don't know if it does or if it doesn't but I've just mixed some flux up enough to be going on with while I'm starting to assemble it so what I'm going to do now I'm going to start to assemble all the internal parts as I, and as I go along I'm going to flux it flux each part because I'll not be able to get to it otherwise to flux it so uh, I've fluxed all the outer barrel, all the existing solder joints, just in case the um, the solder remelts at any point when I'm when I'm resoldering the the rest of the job up. So I've put plenty of solder around the existing joints because I'll not be able to access them again soon as once I start assembling it. So uh, it's just a matter now of uh, going through it through it little bit by little bit um, and starting to assemble it and I'll just keep doing a little clip as I go along right I've managed to get it all assembled up now it were a little bit fiddly in places but uh, a bit of perseverance and we've got there so I've got I've got everything fluxed up on two plate, all the tubes are in the stays, the steam header, and the rivets. Down here I've got the um, all the stays in and fluxed. And then on the other side, on the back head, that's all fitted now. Uh, with all the stays and the bushes and the regulator pad steam tubes, closure plate bushes, rivets, uh, bushes for the water level gauge and what I've what I've done I've I've put flux around all my my existing solder joints so if there's any uh, any uh, melting of the solder which I doubt I doubt whether they will be but if there is it's all got flux on so um, so it, it should keep it all secure uh, the the soldered bits that's already done so uh, it's getting a bit late now so in the morning I'll probably make a start and I'll uh, do these stays on the throat plate turn it over to this way and then do all this top bit and then turn it over and up uh, front tube plate so uh, that'll be for tomorrow now then I'll catch you on my next clip thanks for watching